Morning, Steve Fried with the morning grain calls. Markets are lower overnight. We've seen to uh, go back and forth depending upon the headlines of the virus, the vaccine, South American weather, and any new uh, Chinese business. I think yesterday we did see um, some uh, bear spreading in the nearby soybean spreads. Uh, this uh, has to do, I think, with the, some of the index roll. Uh, some people think that the new soybean export demand is slowing despite record shipments out of the U.S. and that that may be causing um, a little bit of weakness in the spreads. Farmers have also been active seller of soybeans this year from their 2020 crop estimated in many locations 80 to 85 percent sold. The opposite is true in corn with the July D's uh, 2021 corn spreads uh, inverting more. Again we're looking at uh, the potential for record uh, corn exports January through May and the farmer has picked up in the United States selling but I think for the most part they're about 60 maybe 65 percent sold uh, but any further rally in the corn futures market or cash they probably will again be sellers after January 1 uh, to pay bills and the new tax year. As far as weather in South America is concerned again there was some uh, shower activity uh, in central Brazil, but there is concern about western Brazil, southern Brazil, and Argentina turning drier, uh, very La Nina-ish. Um, and so we'll have to kind of watch that and see if the market uh, wants to put a premium. Thursday, we got the USDA report. Uh, people are not expecting big changes in uh, USDA estimate of U.S. or global balance sheets. Um, I think in general, uh, private people are using a, a lower corn carryout, a lower soybean carryout, and feel eventually, maybe in as early as January, the USDA has to recognize that, and that could be a spark uh, to go back and have futures, at least for corn and soybeans, to test the recent highs. For wheat, you just have um, just too much talk about uh, higher Russian exports, India exports, even Europe's uh, wheat exports picking up. And then uh, we also note that um, there's more supply in Australia and Canada. So, you know, wheat's going to have to have a, a lingering, you know, maybe U.S. Southern Plains weather problem in 2021, uh, some U Russia weather issues uh, to push back up to uh, support or up to resistance. But I think technicians believe that corn and wheat are near key support, while the soy complex may be near uh, some resistance levels for now. Other than that, uh, we'll be watching any news of the virus and the vaccine, any political issues out of Washington, U.S.-China trade relations. Uh, we note that uh, it feels like, despite talk of an 8% GDP growth in China, that their meat demand is not as good as some people have thought. Uh, their soybean crush margins have declined, and, and so maybe their demand for soybean imports um, might be a little bit lower than what some people thought, at least initially. And we noted that November, um, China imports were 9 million metric tons, which makes uh, the uh, year exports a little over 102 million metric tons. And I think that uh, in the long run, they will take actually more next year than the 102 million metric tons. So um, choppy trade, um, virus, vaccine, um, USDA report uh, versus private reports, South American weather, um, recent rains versus dry forecasts, and money flow at the end of the year will probably be key to prices. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Aid Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. Remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.